Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play journey through the game Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn. And while we're waiting in queue, if you remember from the last time, I do want to move this screen. Okay, so if you guys remember from the last time, we uh, just barely made it into Gridania and we met our guild. So we do have a quest out there where we have to find, um, or we have to get all of our gear to, I think, a level five. So that's kind of where we're at. And one of the things you'll notice right away is that I did take the uh, liberty to kind of change up the UI a little bit, just to make things a little bit, a little bit easier. So this is kind of where we're at. This is our character. And so, yeah, we are going to kind of move forward. We're gonna head, we finished off the uh, guild. And so I think we are going to head over towards that other quest for the uh, level gear. And we're gonna kind of continue our story. So, I'm excited. I can't wait to actually get into the, the meat of this game here. I know last time we kind of did a little bit of an intro, we did some story, we kind of did some running around, but um, I, I think we're ready to really get into this this time. And so I'm really looking forward to that. So we're gonna kind of head out. We're gonna see what we get. See how this works, how about that? So hopefully this episode will be a little bit better. I did customize the UI. I added a couple extra buttons here. And if you remember, you can put your, your classes there on the side. So we added the archer into one of those slots for us. So that should work out pretty good. We just gotta head on over. It'll be nice once we get the uh, chocobo, but alas, we are not there yet. We will soon though. Let's get moving. So I believe, yeah, we need to go over here. Let's see if we're good for inspection. No, it doesn't look like we are. So, if we're to think about this, we probably need to buy something from the merchant. That's kind of what I'm betting. So let's talk to the merchant and let's look at battle gear. I think that's what we're going to need. I think we need a hat of some kind. If we were to look at our character, the piece we're missing, we can't do an offhand, no soul stone. Everything else is pretty good. The only thing we're missing really is a headpiece or a hat. So I think that's what we need to buy. So we can do, no. <laughs> that one there will give us 23 versus 21. Level eight, level five. Can we not wear that? We are so close to level eight. You know, we're gonna get this one even though we can't wear it. We're gonna, yep, yeah, please. And then we are gonna go, we're gonna kill some fungars. We're gonna go take care of some of this stuff. We'll, uh... we'll do some of this. This should give us a level or at least get us close. No? Oh, a couple more. All right. I do it. There we go. Haha. I knew we were close. Second wind. Instantly restores HP. All right. So let's go to our character. Let's go to our recommended gear. So now we can equip the hat, although it doesn't really show on this. <laughs> On this character, that's okay. We will talk, there we go. And that did work for Galfred here. So we are ready to move on. Ready for inspection, are we? Right then, eyes forward, back straight. Hmm, yes, I think you pass muster. You would be surprised at how many young promising soldiers get themselves killed by rushing off into the woods without first donning a decent set of armor. Your equipment, however, should provide the required degree of protection. Consider yourself ready for duty, Keikami. Awesome. So now we can get, ooh, let's get a bow, because that's what we, uh, 
So we're gonna go into our character. Let's equip our new, oh, no. That is the exact same bow. Shoot, we should have got took the gold. Man, we got swindled. Ah, Kikami, by your tireless efforts, have you proven yourself a friend to Gridania? I believe you can be trusted with sensitive intelligence. I would assign you a mission of considerable import, yet the need for secrecy prevents me from disclosing its details until you have pledged your participation. I am authorized to tell you only that it concerns suspicious activity in the Twelfth's Wood. Say that you will lend us your aid, and I, and I shall proceed with the briefing. Sure. Let's do it. Good. Time is of the essence, so listen well. You will by now have heard that a suspicious individual has been seen prowling the, tw the Twelfth's Wood. And you may also be aware that Ixal activity has risen sharply in the region of late. What you may not know is that this increase coincided almost exactly with the first recorded sighting of the aforementioned individual. Suspecting a connection, we tightened our surveillance in hopes of tracking down our unknown visitor. Alas, our quarry is proving to be exceedingly elusive, almost as if he knows our movements ahead of time. Hmm. But, where whole units have failed, a lone adventurer may yet succeed. Acting independently and covertly, you may be able to close in on our quarry unnoticed. Okay. Fear and anxiety are beginning to take their toll upon the citizenry, Keikami. For their sake, I ask that you aid us in this investigation. Hmm. Yes. You have my gratitude. With your help, I'm hopeful we will shed light upon this mystery. Begin your search at Life Men's Stump. It is there that the majority of the sightings took place. Be forewarned, my people cannot offer you support, lest our quarry catch scent of our presence and evade us yet again. Proceed with caution. Okay. Let's do this. Interacting. Yeah, okay. Right click, we're gonna interact with things. Cool. So, let's take a look. So we need to go up here. So to the north and kind of to the east a little bit. Maybe we'll go, yeah, we'll go this direction. Let's see what we get. Yes, I refuse to take roads. I may run alongside them, but you know. <laughs> oh, things that get you killed. I think, is the stump back over here? Take a look at what else is over here. Oh, I got a couple things. Could try for that. Are we within range? Now we are. Okay. Got some animal skins. A water spray. Okay. Let's see if we can get another one. Number five does. Heavy. Okay, we got all the black Fs, all the alligator looking guys. So now we're after water, water sprouts. Okay. Did we get all the sprites? Nope. Apparently we have to get a couple more. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. Respawn. <laughs> you get them all now? There we go. And a level. So let's see. Okay, so we just gotta go probably behind this waterfall. Yep. 
Looks like that's our path. Uh-oh, tree things. I think that's our uh, item. here? Nothing too much. Okay, we're just gonna kind of go for it. Three, two, one. You're about to enter an instance battle. Instant battles only occur during certain mission quests and missions. I'm gonna move this up a bit. There we go. Could move it up here. No, that's too, too annoying. We'll move it up about right here. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. Sure. Level sync to level nine. We are level nine, we're good. Special instance, three of us are for important battles. Yep. For the duration of battle, you will be unable to pass beyond the red line. Okay. Despaid, you automatically leave the instance once uh, everything's been, okay, cool. Proceed. Here we go. Oh, we got a cutscene. Look, someone's already here. <gasps> oh dear, is that a sword in the stump? Bad idea, really bad idea. Why? It takes a lot less than that to incite the green wrath, you know? Why, the first time we came to the Twelve's Wood, Is we this almost our ended dark up as a stranger? Stranger? dinner, just for crashing our airship in the wrong place. It was all Popolimo's fault, of course. Though, he'd sooner swallow his staff than admit that he's wrong. They're okay. They're gonna... Hope they don't talk over each other. Know her, Kublo Cop? Well, not exactly, but we did once share a carriage. Isn't that right? How are the readings? Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well, and newly manifested at that. Kublo Khan seems convinced of your innocence. But if this isn't your doing, whose is it? Ever since the Calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. Hmm. The slightest disruption to the etheric flow... And this sort of thing happens. Oh no. Oh no, we're actually gonna have to fight for these things. Here we go. Yes, so. Got rid of the ad. I get the one in the middle. 
Oh, I don't think this is the other one. Okay. Another big guy. We got this. 60%. Friends. Of these. There we go. Nope. Don't even have to count. There we go. Let's put a dot on. There we go. Put some bleeds. Not bad. Well done. We're almost there. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. We got hopefully something good. Yeah, I think we get a cutscene. Hear, feel, oh? think. Crystal Bearer. Yes. <laughs> I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it hath since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. Mm. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. So it looks like we have to collect some crystals. 
Got it. We can do this. By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. So cute. You fainted. A surfeit of ether, no doubt. Hmm. And what have we here? Our culprit, it would seem. An Ixel. And no ordinary Ixel either. A chieftain. Hmm. That they would venture this deep into enemy territory, the beastmen may indeed be acting under orders. <laughs> this is Papalimo. We found How the are culprit. we feeling then? It was an excellent chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll seek Brother Esumian's cooperation in the matter. Ida? Oh, loud, tactless. Much the same <laughs> as always. Just wanted to hear the phone conversation. <laughs> Giant crystals? Can't say I've seen any. Are you sure you're feeling better? Understood. Over and out. Kuplo Cop. Please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumian. We shall soon return to give a full report. Understood. Over and out. Koopa! <laughs> Here is where we part ways. Till next time, take care. I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the Bannock. Will do. Bye. <laughs> I like her. You don't suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? And this occurs to you now? Yes. It seemed that way. Time will tell. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless... You don't know what's going on either. Maybe. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Let's take this sword. All right. I think we're heading back. Let's go turn this in. Yep, deliver the sword to Galfred. Let's do it. Ah, before that tree decides to come get us. <laughs> well, that was fun. I like the banter between those two. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, 
All right, where are we headed? We're heading back to the little, yeah, I think we're making a left here. Yo. There it is, Galfred. Hey, you wouldn't believe what we saw. Guess what, guess what, guess what? Kikami, it's good to see you back. Our patrol sent word that you have been spotted doing battle with enraged Trenants. Trents? Trenant. Trents. Sure. I'm relieved to find you none the worse for the experience. But tell me, were you able to discover that? What were you able to discover at Lifeman's Stump? Well, we found this thing. Hmm. A sword in the stump and a dead Ixel. Hmm. I can say with absolute certainty that this blade is of Ixali origin. It's, it is one of a kind used exclusively in the Beastmen's rituals. It is of a kind, sorry, used exclusively in the Beastmen's rituals. The Ixel rarely set foot in the central shroud, so tight is our guard over the area. What purpose could they could have driven them to take such a risk? I fear something is afoot. What is that? A dubious couple sporting peculiar spectacles? <laughs> so you have finally been acquainted with Ida and Papalimo. Say, your suspicions... Lay your suspicions to rest. Gridania counts them among her staunchest allies. Both are scholars hailing from a distant land and have been with us since before the calamity. Their garb may appear outlandish and their exchange is baffling, but never once have they given us cause to doubt them. Indeed, they oft assist the gods quiver and the wood whalers in their work. Much as I hope you will in the days to come, Keikami. Although our unknown visitor eludes us still, owing to your efforts, we have acquired important intelligence on the Exali threat. You have my gratitude. We are fortunate indeed to have a capable adventurer such as you aiding us. I pray you will continue to serve the people of Gridania in whatever capacity you are able. Sweet. <laughs> Ah, oh. what do you got now? He wishes for us to collect Chigoe eggs. Okay. Kekami, injuries to several of my men have left me shorthanded, and I require a capable sort to complete their unfinished duty. The task is simple. Put down as many of those local Chigoe population as necessary to acquire three of their egg sacs. Having done so, you are to l deliver them to Monray Gwyn at Gilbert Spire. He will answer any queries you may have. Now, I have other business to attend to. All right. So let's see. Looks like these are kind of all over if we look at our mini map. So can we exit over here? I think we can. Looks like we got a whole bunch over this direction. We're just gonna grab a few of these. Oh, these guys, okay. There's one. Do we get an egg sac? Yes, one. There's two. There we go. Good. Good. I think we sneak. Yeah, we can sneak around this way. Oh, that's right. We aren't going to Galfred. We got to go to this other spire, huh? That's right. We got a delivery. Forgot. <laughs> I want to know what's in that house. Is that where we're going? Nope. I think we're going here. I think that's our spot. Oh, Monrenguin. 
Bon Ranguin? Bon Ranguin. Ah, you must be the adventurer standing in for our injured companions. Terribly unfortunate business, that. Here you go. It seems, however, that you had little tr trouble gathering the egg sacks in their steed. Excellent work. I shall have them sent over to the Trapper's League immediately. Lest you wonder, wonder, these egg sacks are not destined for the dinner table. Members of the Twin Adder and the Wood Wheelers are assisting the League by collecting the samples they need to check for signs of sickness. The Chigoe, you see, is one of the few creatures capable of transmitting the disease known as the Creeping Death. Oh. Until relatively recently, any here, I think that's a human, who contracted this ghastly illness would almost invariably perish. Indeed, a single outbreak once claimed the lives of a third of the Hurian population here in Gridania. That was a long time ago, of course. With the medicines available to us now, the creeping death is not the killer it once was. I wonder if that was, hmm, before all of this. Even so, it is best to halt any new outbreaks before they occur. Thus, we gather Chigoe eggs on a regular basis in order to assist the Trapper's League with their ongoing research. Your timely assistance is most appreciated. Thank you. Oh, we're close to getting another level. At Guards Gilbert Spires, named Mongre Monranguin, needs you to recover surveying equipment. Ooh. Such an embarrassing turn of events. I sent a recruit from the Bannock on a surveying expedition, only for the cavern to turn tail, oh, only for the craven to turn tail and flee at the first sign of trouble. This is not how we treat, re treat requests from the conjurers. As if such a poor showing were bad enough, the lily-livered half-wit left behind the surveying equipment provided by Healer Pauline herself. Well, I attempt to instill some backbone into this so-called soldier. Would you mind recovering the survey gear and returning it to Healer Pauline at Gabrino's Bower? Yeah, I think it's Gabrino's Bower. Well, I attempt to instill some backbone. Yeah, we did that. Okay. According to my recruit's tale of woe, there should be a set of survey records a surveyor's rope, and two boxes of surveyor's instruments strewn about the interior of a cave to the south of here. <sighs> it's a wonder the damn fool didn't lose his boots. <clears throat> Matron, watch over you. All right, let's take a drink here. Let's see. So... We gotta go find this. Where is this spot? Okay, so we gotta go south, it looks like. So. Can we go see what's in the house? I don't think there's anything there right now. Hello. Is that it? Oh, I think that's it. I think we're going into the deep dark cave here. Yep, that's what it looks like. All right. No, I want to target that one. Might as well take them out one by one. Okay. One. We're just going to take these out one at a time, I guess. Water Sprite isn't going to bother us. Hey, just talking about shafts. <laughs> I like it. One more. There we go. Yep, there's our stuff. Let's take out this one. There we go. Survey records. Records say. Got it. Okay. Got 
One more. We'll use distance to our advantage here. At least while we can. There we go. Make our lives a little bit easier here. And we'll grab this. Looks like we got one more. Yep, last of the records. Okay. And looks like we got these little rosette things that we need to take uh, for our hunting log as well. So we should probably go after those next on the way. Hopefully we can do that. Looks like we got another red here on the right. It's gonna block our way out. And we got a travel point. So we probably wanna do that too. Okay. Instruments. Could scoot out a little bit. We could practice. Uh... I think it's kind of weird uh, playing at this. Uh... back up. We're good there. should be our last one, I think. There we go. Yes, we got that done. Ah, must be a Lancer. Interesting. Now, we saw... There was a crystal here. A teleport crystal, if I remember right. Yep. Let's go attune to that. And then we'll go and we'll drop this stuff off. I think it'd be important to make sure we're attuning to all the things that we need to attune to. So let's do this. Yay, Aetherite. So now we can travel between the Aetherites, yes. Teleport does not require MP, okay. But you have to pay gill. Okay, so if I want to travel between the big aetherites, it costs gill. If you want to... Within them, in the city, I guess. The network. I believe is kind of what they call them. That's, uh... Free? I think let's get across here. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. We gotta go that direction. No, we're not gonna try to aggro the bog, guys. Ooh. Or diarmite. Um, maybe we will aggro the bog, guys. Maybe we went the wrong way. Let's go the other way. You know what? We're just gonna jump. <laughs> Let's see. Let's across this bridge. Let's see. Can we go across this way? Yes. This here will get us there faster. We stopped for the Aetherite, and that's what kind of got us off path a little bit. But that's okay. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, I guess we're going to keep going this direction. Got water sprites. Um, maybe we do have to go to the house. Hey, 
we get to see what's in here. Hey friend, no. I think we actually gotta go inside the house. Let's go around this direction. What's over here? You know I gotta take a look. Okay, guess we're going inside. Here's Pauline. Yes, may I assist you with some matter? Got you stuff. Found your supplies. There you go. Oh, but this is the equipment I left with the soldiers of the Bannock. Fled at first sight of danger, you say? I see. Well, all is not lost. It appears the recruit managed to complete the surveying assignment. The records are actually quite detailed. With the changes wrought by the Calamity, I thought it wise to send the Order of the Twin Adder on a number of expeditions to map the region's topography. As fortune would have it, the officers saw these tasks as an excellent opportunity to train inexperienced warriors, soldiers. We can no longer rely on our past knowledge of the Twelves Wood. If we are to survive these troubled times, we must reacquaint ourselves with our surroundings, that we may better discern the threats we may face. Stay vigilant. Stay vigilant, adventurer. Sweet. We can get two, negative seven. Yeah, let's get a new, uh, a new robe. A soccer. I hesitate to make such a dangerous request, but might you assist us in thinning the number of anoles on naked rock? Naked rock? A knolls. We'll call it a knolls. Ooh. Ooh, thunder lightning. In our efforts to communicate with the elementals, we conjurers often find ourselves in the area of area. Of late, however, our meditations have all too frequently been interrupted by unprovoked anole attacks. Truly, the beasts grow more aggressive by the day. Oh, I don't like thunder. I don't like lightning, really. Thunder's okay, but lightning, ugh. It looks like we got thunderstorms. Their numbers have continued to grow since the advent of the seventh umbral era. You see, forcing packs of the scale skin to come, scale kin to come down from the mountains in search of food. If you could lay a handful of the beasts, that should lessen their need to hunt and also serve as a warning to the anoles to remain within their territory. But I'm afraid you must do more than thin the existing population. If we are to truly break this spiraling growth, then we must also target their future offspring. Bring me one of their eggs, and you will have played your part in returning balance to this area of the forest. All right. So where are we headed? To the east. Wait, which way are we? We're facing north. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> really don't like it. Alright. Looks like there's a bunch of them over here. Yeah, I don't do well with uh, these big storms. There's one. Looks like we have to kill. A, we have to take out a few anyways. So this is good. Okay. Hey, we're low up. Let's go with this one. do it. We're gonna do at least one more for the um, quest for the hunting log. There we go. And I think, yep, our egg is up there, so we're gonna have to at least do a little something here. 
There's that. And one more, maybe. There we go. There's not like a mother and all, is there? There we go. Looks like we got two more. There we go. Oh, we gotta put on our new uh, coat, too. Let's grab this egg. Let's get our character. Yes, please. Put on our new coat. Let's make a run for it. Let's get out of here. We got it, we got it. Run! <laughs> Yeah, we're heading back. Okay, good. The microchews. They're like Pikachus, but only small. They're microchews. No, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, head back. Pauline, guess what? Found your stuff. Ah, oh, you have returned. Now might my brothers and sisters continue their meditations undisturbed. You have my thanks. As for the egg... May I ask you to deliver it to Sub Suba Kama Kamazon Ka Kamazam Kamazam Sub Kamazam at the bannock. Anole eggs are both large and filled with nutrients. The perfect meal for a soldier. She'll be more than a little pleased to see you, I should imagine. Will do. So we're going back to the bannock. I believe it's just right over there. Ah, I think I got it. Something tickling my nose. It might be a, a hair. Ooh, a fate. Do we join the fate? Sure, why not? I hope we're going the right way. Okay. We'll read the level sync thing here in a minute. Oops. No. Nope. Turn. Let's just close up. We know what level sync does. We're almost done? This should do it. No? There it goes. Oh, we didn't get much of anything. I thought we'd get more. I thought it would be more experience. Alright. That's okay. We'll take any little bit we can get. Here's our friends. Whee! Alright. There's Subi. Sub. Kamazom. Kamazom. There we go. Well, we'll figure out the names. <laughs> right? Uh, talk. Who goes there? Oh, Keikami, it's you. Huh? Another delivery? So what? I'm not certain I should be the one to... Buy no fika! That's an anole egg! The troops will be glad indeed to see one of these at the table. And you say here Pauline sent you on the errand? I hear the anoles are more numerous than ever, yet you appear to have managed the task with your skin intact. Your skill and bravery continues to amaze me, Keikami. Yes, we got skill and bravery. And we get a new bow. Storyteller. Okay. 
Kami, thank the gods you have come. We have a potential crisis on our hands, and I would appreciate your assistance. Will you hear me out? Sure. Why not? Listen well, for we haven't much time. To the southeast of here lies a dungeon known as Spirit Hold. It was all but destroyed during the Calamity. Desiring to offer the ruins back to the forest, a hearer ventured inside to carry out the rite of returning. Alas, it would seem something has gone awry. Word arrived just moments ago that the hearer and his guards have been attacked by a towering shadow. Aye, you heard me true, a shadow. On any other day, I would dispatch my best quivermen to provide support. But I sent them to repel an Ixali excursion in the West Shroud, nary a bell ago. Some timing of these events cannot be mere coincidence. I fear the Ixil somehow caught wind of our plans and are attempting to dis disrupt the right in an effort to weaken the bond between man and elemental. They must not be allowed to succeed. And so, I bid you to go to Spirit Hold and do whatever is necessary to resolve the situation. Please say you'll help us. Will do. I knew you wouldn't let me down. You will have all the support I can muster. Sounds good. Now, we are racing against time, so you had best make haste. You got it. Alright, so, where are we headed? We are headed... Oh, right here. Okay, so we need to kind of go the opposite of the direction we were headed in. Hmm. Is that by that crystal? No, it's kind of more by naked rock and down. Okay. Well, let's get running. School of Hard Knocks. Oh, that's our next... Uh, other quests. I think we're going this way. Yep, looks like it. It's right down there. Hmm. Is there anything else for us to hunt along the way? Doesn't look like it. What's up there? Looks like there's frogs or spiders. I think that is. Hoglet. Ooh, it's a giant pig. Or a boar. Interesting. Alright, we got a swarms. Allison, hey, what's up? Who goes there? An adventurer, is it? Here at Instructor Galfin's request, you say, thank the matron. Doubtless you already know this, but a towering shadow manifested without warning and attacked the hearer in the midst of the right. Most of his party has been successfully evacuated, but five remain unaccounted for. Please find them and see them out of harm's way. Will do. And we got a new bow. So, let's equip our new bow. Yep, equip. This should help a little bit, and we're gonna reset our gear. All right. Oops, we kind of jumped too far. I think we're going in. It looks like we can get these tricksters as well. Oh, there's one. There we go. A great shadow towering over me. What in the twelve's good grace? A an adventurer, please, you must save the hearer. Okay. Let's take care of this one. Oh, no. Ooh, bring it too. Okay. Let's look up some of that damage. I think we're good. Eating. Galfred sent you? 
I'm no longer of use here. Pray help the healer in my stead. Okay. Away, vile fiend. Away, I say. I defy you. I defy you. <laughs> uh, oh, an adventurer. We, we were ambushed. Ambushed in the midst of the ris ritual. And then... And, and then I'm, I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> uh. Oops. Swarm's not gonna bother me as much as the tricksters. Let's get this one first. Okay. And we'll get the other one second. Oh, difficulty rank unlocked. What? I want a difficulty rank. Okay. Let's save this one here. There we go. Eating. Y you were sent here to help? I fear you are too late. The ritual has failed. I must needs return to Gridania. The seed seekers must know of this. Okay. And another conjurer. That thing was no elemental, but being born of darkness. Oh. The hearer languishes alone in the depths. You must help him. All right. I think we made our way. Well, we get another one of these uh, areas. Three, two, one, level sink. Sure, we're at 12. I think we're good. Hopefully we aren't under leveled for this. Ooh. Oh, mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble soul a stone, that it may wake to life. Mm -hmm. A stone golem. Nice. Let's do it. Oh, we got a new skill. What's the eight skill do? Another one of these. Possible. Never has a golem been so sorely tested. Oh no, get us out. Here we go. Out of sight. Okay, so we have to make sure we can actually hit him without anything in between. Noted. Golem could be vanquished, or that the golem could be vanquished. That woman is no ordinary adventurer. Huh? Gone. Hmm. We did it. Damnation, he has eluded us yet again. Oh, fancy meeting you here. How are things? Uh-oh. Hmm. Wherever you are... Shh, more birds. This makes it how many times today? Seven? Their movements are beyond our fathoming. Hmm, do you think maybe they're trying to summon their primal? I hope not, for all our sakes. We must be yet we must be prepared for the worst.
withered. The same fate has befallen emerald moss. It is as we feared. Dalamun's anomaly is affecting life in the Twelves Wood. My gosh. That'd be kind of creepy. You mean the disturbance in the etheric flow? The very same. The Garleans have a lot to answer for. The imbalance they have created is plunging the, the land into chaos, just as Louis Fafour warned. It's no wonder the primals have started appearing. Time is against us, but there is still hope for the land. We must hold fast to that hope and fight to the very last. Agreed. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> ah, stupid things. These stupid things happen to be the very latest in Charlon Char innovation. Show some respect. But they're so uncomfortable and, and ugly. If you ask me, they're an improvement over that mask of yours. Aww. Ah, hard to believe it's already been five whole years, isn't it? Already? Five years is but a heartbeat in the life of the planet. I suppose you're right. Now that I think about it, the Twelves would barely recover at all, and the Gridanians still have the same old problems. Hmm. I, along with some new ones, just in case the Ixalan Garuda weren't troublesome enough, the Sylphs had to go and invite Ramu, didn't they? Do you ever think about those adventurers who fought alongside us? I do. And then five years seems like ages. I wonder what became of them. Uh... Ida, look! Hmm? Golly, and this is what exactly? Yet another disturbance in the aether, and freshly manifested at that. It seems to be emanating from the life men stump. We must hurry. Hey, that's where we were. Are you all right? Your eyes glazed over for a little, for a while there. The good news is that the hearer is unharmed. Somewhat dazed, yes, but whole of mind and body. The bad news concerns everything else. Oh. Lest you forget, the Twelves Wood is the domain of the elementals. It is by their leave that man abides in the forest and avails himself of its bounty. The ground which the dungeon occupies is no different. Having no more use for the dungeon, dungeon, the Gridanians sent a hearer to offer the place back to the elementals by way of the rite of returning, which is essentially an expression of gratitude. Okay. Alas, he failed to complete the ritual for obvious reasons. While the poor soul cannot be blamed for this, the fact remains that unless the elementals are given their due, they may well consider it a slight. And the very last thing the Gordonians can afford to do in these uncertain times is risk alienating the Twelve's Woods' eternal guardians. But you have more than done your part. We shall see the hero to, safe, to safety and send for his peers to finish the rite. In the meantime, please make your way outside and report to Alliston. Ah, but where are my manners? I am Papa Limo. And the tactless woman besides me here is... Ida! Papa Limo and I are surveying the Twelves Wood together. Pleased to meet you. Ida, give me a hand, wouldn't you? Wait, there's something familiar about you. Could it be that you are... 
Never mind. Doubtless my eyes are playing tricks. Till we meet again. We are awesome? Well, yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Do we explore this a little bit? I say we do. Take out some of these tricksters. See what's in here. Alright, what's in here? Is there anything good in here? No treasure there. Ugh. Besides this guy. There we go. Let's try one of these. No? That didn't do anything. There we go, we'll get this one. Let's do anything. It's after a little bit, not bad. Not great, but not bad. There we go. Nothing good in there. Anything good in here while we're here? Just some swarms, okay. Means we'll take care of this one. There is a cool door. Okay. That's kind of neat. Well, that was pretty quick. Interesting combo. Anything in here? Nope. You know we gotta check them all. Okay. Nothing in this one. Anything else in the last one? Just an imp? No, oh, we already got it. Okay. I think we're heading out. Make our way out of here. Oh, are we gonna have to fight our way out? Why do I get the feeling we are? Nope. Shoot. Oh well. I feel bad if someone was coming up the stairs and I just trained all of these guys onto them. Although it would be absolutely hilarious. We got this. This will be easy. Besides, it gives us practice, right? There we go. Last one, I think. Okay. What's this? Straight shot ready. Oh. Okay. Hey, we did it. We somehow survived. Don't ask me how, but we did. All this happened inside Spirit Hold? Twelve preserve us. Who was that masked mage, and by what dark ambition is he driven? So many things shrouded in mystery. Well, I shan't find any answers on my own. I must needs discuss this with Galfred. The matter warrants a full investigation. If I'm any judge, and that shall certainly be my recommendation. If I'm any judge, and that shall certainly be my recommendation. Got it. Your courage has saved many lives this day, adventurer. For you, for this, you have my deepest gratitude. Pray return to Gridania and speak to Meun. I understand she wishes to thank you for your efforts on our behalf. Oh, okay. Awesome. So are we heading back? Return to Gridania and speak with Meun. All right, let's test out this teleport thing. No, return home. I think we have Gridania set us home. 
Let's do this return. Let's see what this does. I'm curious. Return. That is going to send us in a complete... Uh... Oh, oh, look at this. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, which way? <laughs> I think the end's this way. Yeah, she's right by the, um, the stables. I love these. Look at these birds. Yeah, let's zoom in. Oh, they're so cute. Alright. Wow. That's a bubble. Huh. There's Mother Mune. Hey! Welcome back, Keikami. A little bird tells me that the hearer and his party owe you their lives. No. A tale for the tavern if there ever were one. It is only a shame that I must ask you not to tell it. For the time being, at least. Do I make myself clear? wonder why. Until the hearers have made their will on the matter known, it would be best to avoid unsettling people with stories of walking statues. Okay. Now then, you must have suitable recom recompense for your valent service. Hmm? For the first half of your re reward, I give you leave to make use of the accommodations here at the guild. Okay. Arrangements have been made, so all you need to do is speak with Antoinette. Antoinette, we'll call it Antoinette. Whenever you crave the comfort of a firm bed and soft pillow. In rooms! Yay! For the second half of your reward, I offer you another path to fame and fortune. Guild leaves. Okay. Oh, my eye. Guild leaves are records of the various requests we receive from the citizenry. They outline all manner of tasks which ambitious young adventurers like you can elect to undertake. Gontrant, Gontrant is our guild leave official, or Livment. Livment? Here at Carling Canopy. I've spoken with him regarding your knack for solving challenging problems and he is eager to make to make your acquaintance. Hello. By the way, have you perchance heard about the un about the coming festival? It is truly a splendid occasion, looked forward to by young and old alike, and one I heartily recommend you take time and enjoy. Oh? Don't be too disappointed if the recent t troubles cast a shadow over proceedings, however. I fear nothing short of the mysterious interloper's apprehension can prevent that. But we were talking about you, Keikami. Have you you have made mother proud? I expect great things of you, young lady. Well, thank you. Wonder what festival is this the Easter thing? Yay! The recommendations list is now available. You now have access recommendations. Feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. Recommendations list can be opened under your duty in the main menu. Okay, displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Good to know. All right. Have we earned anything new gear-wise? No, we haven't. Okay. Suck. On a bent brat branch. Impressed by your progress, Miyun wishes to send you to Brent Bent Branch Meadows, where you will find further opportunities to learn. We'll accept it. How is my favorite fresh-faced adventurer? Oh, do not scowl so. I speak out of habit. You come a long way since first you walked through my door, and I'll not deny it. As a matter of fact, I think it's about time you made yourself useful at Brent Bat Brent Ah Bent Branch Meadows. Bent Branch Meadows. Bent Branch Meadows. <laughs> In the Central Shroud. 
We're so gonna mess this up. <laughs> Unlike the recruits you see at the Bannock, the men and women out at Mint Branch are fully occupied with their own work. As such, I imagine there are more than a few who would welcome the assistance of a rapidly maturing adventurer like yourself. Bent, Bent Branch is also the home to a very useful situated Aetherite. It is, in other words, the perfect place for you to begin the next stage of your journey as an adventurer. And what better time than, a, than the present? Leave the city via the Blue Badger Gate and continue in the southwest to the southwest until you come to a bridge. Cross it, and when you spy an Aetherite in the distance, you may congratulate yourself on having successfully found Bent, Bent Branch Meadows. If you fancy, if you so fancy, you may want to make use of a Chocobo Porter service, doubtless the safest way to get to your destination. Chocobo Keep Singer should not hesitate to lend his birds to a capable adventurer like you. Oh, and be sure to introduce yourself to Keitha, the head Chocobo Wrangler, when you arrive. Okay. Sounds good. So, I think we have a quest on Brent. I think we can do our next um, archer quest. Whoa. Hello. That was uh, crazy. So we're going to go to the guild hall. We're going to see, because I think you can do one every five levels. And we just hit level 10, so that means we should have another quest here for us. So we'll do this one first before we make our way over to the uh, to the new area, to this new uh, Brent, Bent Branch Meadows. <laughs> before we make our way over there. How about that? We'll do our stuff here first. That, that's kind of what I'm getting at. All right, Lucene, Lucene. Guildmaster wishes to, Lucene wishes you to learn to see things from different perspectives. Okay. It pleases me to see how you have grown as an archer. Plainly, you have taken my counsel to heart and learned to see with your own eyes. I would now have you discover what it means to behold things from a different standpoint. You will recall Le Alipo, one of your seniors at the guild. I have given you over to care, over to her care for this lesson. Speak with her and do as she bids. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, Le or Lee, Le Aliapo. I've been expecting you, Kikami. Shall we get on with it then? First, a quick review. Remember how the Bowmaster had you seek out and destroy targets hidden throughout the city? Well, I would have you do the same. This time, however, you will need to venture outside the gates. I'm sure you've realized this by now, but there's no guarantee of safety within the Twelves Wood. As you search, you should take care to mind your surroundings. You won't have the luxury of focusing solely on your quarry this time. You'll have to keep your eyes peeled for potential threats as well. That said, your objective is to destroy the targets alone, so avoid unnecessary combat and maintain a safe distance from any hostile creatures you encounter. Should you come under attack, take to your heels, risking direct confrontation only if you can't outrun your pursuers. The targets are hidden in the central shroud. As before, use heavy shot technique to destroy each one with a single arrow. Go well, Keikami. Central shroud. Let's go to the central, central shroud. Is that where we were? Where is... Oh, central shroud is that way or that way. We can go out White Wolf Gate, I guess. Okay. Let's take the Aetherite to White Wolf Gate. Let's see. Oh, no. We don't get White Wolf Gate. Um... Blue Badger? Central Shroud. Yeah. Let's go there. Alright, let's go find these things. Looks like they're this direction. A 
Ooh. Do we try to take on the sapling? The trunnet? Yes. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Only because I, I've been wanting to do that. Yeah! Oh, do we only need to get one? Yes! We did good. We got it, we got it. Oh, I see one. See a couple. There's one right there. Can we hit it from behind? Yes. One. Two. Diamites, we gotta watch out for them. We are gonna get. Oh, no, we're not. Got it. I see what they're talking about. What I wanted to get was this hornet swarm. Alright, so we got this one. I think we got another one over here. Got that one. There's our corner swarm we wanted. There we go. I think we're doing pretty good. Oh no. Oops, not what we wanted. Let's get that hornet swarm, then we'll get the other guy. Nope, nope, nope. I want that one. Please. Ah, yes. Yeah, stay there. Perfect. We'll take care of this one while we're in the groove. Might as well. There we go. Are we done with the hornet swarms yet? Yes. Oh, there's a butt. I see it. Who's that guy? Oh, Keevan Riftbringer. All right. There's one there. There's one there. Okay. Five. Yeah, we'll get this one. Six. No. Six. Now we just gotta make our way back. Hey, we got this crystal. Can we use the teleport? Teleport? We can go to New Gridania. Right? Is that Bent Branch Meadows right there? I wonder if we've already been there. Uh, Archers. That'd be this direction, I think. Yes. Okay. Whew. Cause we need a pair of pants. I've determined we need a pair of pants. <laughs> Anything will do. We'll take it. You know. As long as it's an improvement. We'll see what gives us the best. Uh, here. Alright. Well, well, you made short work of those targets, I must say. It seems you've learned to seek your prey without being preyed upon. Let's continue then. I have a mind to give you more practical experience, and we received a request just recently which I think will provide the perfect opportunity. 
It seems tree slugs and vultures have been congregating in the ever-increasing number in the vicinity of the honey yard, causing no end of trouble for the locals. We've been tastic with culling the beasts. Okay. This requ request comes direct from Stillglade Fen, Fane. When the wood whalers and the gods quiver cannot spare the forces to attend to such matters, the conjurers often turn to us for help. And, before you ask, there's good reason why they would rather not see this particular task themselves. The creatures in question possess abilities which can cause problems for the magically inclined. But that's quite enough about conjurers' troubles. Lusane taught you how to discern an enemy's key traits, did she not? Well now, you'll need to do so while maintaining situational awareness, lest you be overrun. Consider this a comprehensive review of her lessons, and my own. Your orders are as follows. Head out to the East Shroud, and there put down eight tree slugs and eight vultures, using all of your skills as an archer. Good hunting, Keikami, to East Shroud. Hmm. Where's that? Central Shroud. Joining? North. East Shroud. Lavender beds. Huh? No, I don't think that's going to work. Let's go back to New Cardania. Old Cryptonia, Central Shroud. Bye. Let's go map. Let's go up a level. North Shroud, East Shroud. Ooh, that direction, huh? So we gotta go. We'll go Central Shroud all the way over here. I think that's how we're going to do that. We'll just run it. Hmm. Let's see. Off on another adventure. Our drink here. Ah. My goodness. Alright. So I don't think we've ever been to the East Shroud, so we're gonna see what all we can we can gather along the way. So how do we get there from oops, no. No? Oh, East Shroud. So it's just literally like a U here. All right. Let's see what we get. We're gonna... Why not? We're gonna kind of loop around this way. We're gonna see where this goes. Can we make it through? So far we can. I haven't seen anything too crazy and dangerous. Okay. All right, maybe over this bridge? Yep, we still gotta go this way a bit. All right, we can do this. We're gonna find a new zone. Look at that red uh, star over there. Hold on. Have we even bothered to look at the night sky? It's kind of neat. Alright, we head in the right direction still? No. We gotta go this way? Yeah, we're going this way. Okay. Hopefully this zone isn't too bad. These have all been fairly good creatures for us. Mapping the Rome, East Shroud. There's our tree slug. We're just gonna kind of hit these one at a time. I'm not sure what we're gonna run into. Eight tree slugs. All right, let's do it. Oh, I don't want to join a fate. Hmm. No, I don't want the... I know we have vultures. We probably need to take out a vulture. 
I just want to do them like one at a time. And one more. There we go. We'll find another vulture. How about this one right here? There we go. No, I don't want the hornet. Okay, we're getting used to this. No, too far away. There we go. Four. No, six. I mean, maybe we finish this fate. There's seven. up this uh this bait here just because the experience may be worth it and then we'll kill the rest of the slugs I think that's what we're gonna do Maybe not. Eh, we're getting there. Hey, we did it! Oh, we don't want to rescale that. Yes, please. Alright, let's take care of these slugs. There we go. Just that one. Did we get it? Six. We need two more. All right. We'll get... This one right here. Just that. And one more maybe. There we go. And the last of the slugs. Right there. Merchant and Mender, are we near? There is the Hawthorne Hut, unattuned. It's over that direction. Do we think we can? You know what? We're just gonna head back. Let's turn this in. We'll be done, and then we'll continue on with the story. I'm sure we're gonna be back here again. Pretty sure. Whew. I feel safer on this side. <laughs> For right now, I just feel safer. What is that? Oh, that's the little micro-chew things. I just saw things wiggling in the thing. I'm like, what the heck? Yes, this direction. Not yet ready. 27 seconds, okay. 
fate. I don't think we're going to do this one. I think that guy's going to have it pretty easily. I don't think he's going to need our help. Hello. Oh, you're just a regular traveler. Okay. This is our way. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. We got it. So. This is good. We can turn this in. And then we can kind of move on. We gotta go to Bent Ranch Meadows. Speak with Keitha. Keitha? Yeah, Keitha. Grab this. Here we go. We probably should have used the uh, teleport from the big crystal. The trick is, is it's kind of close. I wonder if the load screen would be longer than me actually running it. That's kind of what I wonder, you know? It might be a little bit faster, but we're talking, we're shaving seconds off. We're not gonna min-max our travel time. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Lei, or Lee. Judging by your smug expression, I'd say you've acquired a feel for maneuvering, for maneuvering to exploit enemy weaknesses while covering your own. Vultures are wont to keep their opponents at wing's length, and their attacks will send you flying. The solution is simple. Maneuver to the rear. Tree slugs, on the other hand, have an annoying knack for disrupting spell casting with their secretions. As such, you would do well to keep the creatures away from any mages in your party. Needless to say, good positioning is the key to success in battle, which is why it is absolutely essential that you know your target's traits. The knowing of these traits is a fundamental part of hunting. Before the keepers of the moon conceived of archery, they dwelt not in the city, but in the forest. For my people, hunting was a way of life. Hmm. In hindsight, I suppose this is more of a lesson on hunting than on archery. Hussein knows well my past, so mayhap this was her intent. Hunting, too, is an art. Before I came to Gridania, I never gave it much thought. But the more I think of home, the more I begin to realize... Ahem. <clears throat> Forgive me. I'm not usually given to fits of sentiment. Truly, forget I said anything. Oh, she misses home. But do not forget that a hunter must recognize her prey's weakness and strike swiftly when the opportunity presents itself. That concludes the lesson. Now, I suggest you pay Lucina a visit. She is doubtless eager to hear from you. She is no doubt eager. Hussein. It's good to see you, Kikami. I hope you've learned much from Lee. You, adventurer, is it true? Are you the one who slew the tree slugs and vultures? Uh, yeah. How dare she entrust the security of our people to the hands of a stranger? I knew Makote were reckless, but she is downright irresponsible. Shame on her. Did I not warn you that it was folly to suffer that woman's presence in our guild, Lucene? Every time she wastes an arrow on game, she drags our normal art back into the darkness. Aye, and this girl too. She's an embarrassment to us all. That's quite enough, Sylvaire. Your skill with the bow is undeniable, as is your love for our, nat our nation. Yet, there is much much and more you have to learn about archery. You have yet to learn about archery. Keikami has matured greatly in the short time that she has been with us. You know this to be true. Mm. I suggest you come to terms with Keikami's presence here. You will be giving her her next lesson after all. Unless, of course, you have any objections. Good. I 
As for you, Keikami, I would have you devote yourself wholly to training ahead of your lesson with Sylvain. Suffice it to say, he will not be an easy instructor to impress. Understood. Well, on that, we can agree. Before you take your leave, there is something I would tell you. You are as dedicated as a student as ever set foot in these halls. In recognition of your fever for learning, I hereby grant you permission to join the other guilds. Naturally, you will need to obtain express permission of the relevant guildmaster, but I doubt that any will refuse one such as you. In Gradania, you will find guilds representing lancers, conjurers, leatherworkers, car carpenters, and botanists. You are free to seek membership in any that piques your interest. I ask that you keep but one thing in mind. Although there is merit in exploring new avenues, there is also virtue in pursuing a single discipline with all one's heart. The decision is ultimately yours to make. Whichever path you take, be it that of the bow or no, I shall follow your progress with interest, for in you I see the markings of greatness. Thank you. So we get that. We need pants. We don't have pants. We got thigh boots. Six, eighteen. That's a thought. One, two, fourteen plus one. Let's get the brazers. We're gonna need some hand pieces, and yeah, that's the highest defense. So we'll grab that. The armory is now unlocked. Ooh. You now have access to the armory system. Quests to unlock the other classes can be undertaken by, si by speaking to the receptionist at the corresponding guild. There exist myriad disciplines in Eorzea that adventures can take. For the most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended that you first focus on mastering your current class. Noted. You now have access to armory, allows you other classes, da 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 da, da. you should be noted, da da da, you choose to become a disciple of hand, one who synthesizes items from hand materials or disciple the land, one who harvests resources from the field. Mastering more than one class is the first step to becoming a well-rounded adventurer. So I think that's saying is do we take a gathering and a um, crafting? group as well. So if we go to our character, let's look at our gear. We can add our new short bow. We can add our uh, bracers. Okay, so we got some hand gloves. Upgrade this. The question is... Hand and land. Okay. Doing some of this may actually be good for us. I wonder if we can start crafting some of our own gear. Let's see, is some of this leather? I'm assuming some of this is leather work gear. We may want to take up... What was it over here? It was leather and carpentry. Is this a carpenter? Carpenter, yeah. So it's got the little icon next to it. You can kind of see. So that's leather. It's weaver. That's cloth, cloth, leather. Yeah, I wonder if we take on some of these other quests as well. I think... I think we're gonna go to Bent Branch Meadows. We're not gonna worry about it right this second. Let's go to Bent Branch. And then we can figure out what we're gonna do. So if we go to Map, if we go up... Bent Branch Meadows is right down there. No. 158, huh? Or we can run it. We'll run it. Meh, we're just gonna pay the 158. Let's go to that up one. Yes? Yes. Maybe? Got it. So, we should have... Hello. It's a neat looking uh, chocobo. We need to go this direction. Oh. There's the phone. There's Keitha. It's 
speak to Keith at Brent Branch Meadows. Let's do it. You must be the venturer Meun sent word about. I'm Keitha, head wrangler around these parts. Hmm. I've heard many and more things about you. Good things, lest you worry. When the Elder Seed Seeker bade us welcome, bade us welcome venturers, tis fair to say we had our doubts. Till hard-working folks like yourself set about proving us wrong, that is, consider me a com convert. Any road, any road, you have a mind to help out the ranch, have you? Good. We could always do with a hand or two to keep the place running smoothly. As a matter of fact, I have a task right here that wants doing. Let me know when you're ready to get busy. Oh, and you come highly recommended, so don't go letting one, letting no one down, eh? It's complete. Yay, pants! No, we want these ones. We need pants. Pants! And a level! Pants and a level, my gosh. Guys, we are doing amazing. We got pants and a level. Let's go to attributes. Here. Yes. Please, let's equip that. Refresh. Good. What's our gear? Our gear is all like level 7, I guess. It's the average. <laughs> Some better than others. That's okay. We'll make do. Alright, what does she need help with? You can get a jacket. Another jacket. Alright. Seven hells. Some bastard... Quirin. Kieran? How about Kieran? Kieran have gone and broken one of me chocobo eggs. The filthy little thief was busy looting the barn when a guard startled it. Prompting the damn thing to drop the egg, it was clutching and run. Some of the lads gave chase, bless them. But when three more of them vermin appeared, me had me lot had no choice but to turn back. Something has to be done about those Kieran. Would you mind heading over to Matron's Leith and having a word with a soldier named Rosalind for me? The Ratman's nest is in her neck of the woods. See, she'll know what to do. Okay. Looks like we need to go this direction. Hmm. we went hunting. I see, I see. I think we're going this way. Yep. Oh, there's Rosalind. Hmm. You're here on Keitha's behalf, hmm? I see. Broke one of her eggs, you say? And there were four of the creatures? The Kieran are a nuisance at the best of times. But we must now add trespass and chocobo murder to their list of transgressions. They have forced our hand. Our retribution must needs must needs be swift and decisive. And who better than to deliver it than you to deliver it, adventurer? Find the lair to the west of here and make an example of exactly four Kieran's ramblers. We can send no clearer message. Alright, so I think we're going this way. It's down here. Half of me wants to jump in, but half of me says I probably won't make it out. We're going oh, this direction. I guess we're gonna get... Got one. Two 
too. Feel bad. How do you know these guys weren't the ones that did it? Ooh, let's get this one. I mean, really, shouldn't we be punishing the ones that did it? <laughs> oh well. No. And last one. Is there anything good in there? Is there a chest? Can we clear out the whole lot of them? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. That would be my thought on Hmm. Half of me really wants to see. <laughs> Matron's leaf. Lathe. Lathe. The deed is done? Good. A grim task, but a necessary one. You have shown them the folly of inciting the wrath of those who consort with adventurers. Perhaps now the Kirin will think twice before giving in to their larcenous procli proclivities. Sure. And we're going to take... 100 gil? No, we're gonna take this guy. We need the gear. Asha Jab. Let's put on our new, uh, our new dude. New digs. Oh, wow. Hold on. Now that's an outfit. <laughs> Alright. Asha Jab, what do you got? Ooh, new headpiece. Sure. Asha Jab, a wood whaler at the Matron's Lake, is looking for a sure-footed adventurer to pluck blue trumpets from the root of, nearby heaven, of the nearby heaven's pillar. Oh there, adventurer. You seem light on your feet. Fancy a quick skip along the root of the heaven's pillar here? I need someone to pick off a blue trumpet or two. I know what you're thinking. It's not more than a mushroom, so why the commotion? I'll tell you why. You allow the fungal menace to multiply, and within a moon, they'll be covering the whole damn root and rotting the wood clear through. Just watch your step while you're up there, though. The dire mites on the ground won't waste any time adding insult to falling injuries. Once you're done, head up to the top end of the root and report to Theodore. He'll be glad to hear someone's taking care of one of his more dreaded chores. Let's do it. We gotta climb the root. Easy enough. Whew. Okay. Can we just get it from here? No, we actually have to. All right. There it goes. This one here. Am I close enough? Come on. Right click. Okay. One of these clicks will work eventually, right? And there's the last one. Ooh, be careful. Got it. Okay. Now we gotta give them to the guy at the top. Oh, you've cleared the root of blue trumpets. Wonderful. To be quite honest, I have this teeny tiny problem with heights. <sighs> no, this is not my ideal posting, but we do what we must. Keeping the route passable is an important job, you see. It is one of the few ways folks can traverse the central shroud since the calamity, all but split the area in twain. 
It is not, perhaps, the easiest pathway to walk, but there are those who believe the will of the matron herself caused this tendril of a heaven's pillar to remain thus suspended, that it might serve the forest's people. I'm rather fond of the notion myself. Aww. Let's get this guy. Complete. Let's equip our new hat. Let's see. Theodore is looking for to deliver a message. All right, let's deliver a message. It is regret. It is regal regrettably my duty to stand watch over the road from here to from here to Brent Bat Branch Meadows. The ranch has become a veritable institution of Gridania. So many. So any threats to its continued operation are taken quite seriously by the Wood Whalers. Which reminds me. Mayhap it was my imagination, but I believe I caught a s glimpse of some shadowy fellow not too long ago. Would you mind passing word to Rosaline down below? I would go myself, but, well, it's hard enough marshalling the courage to walk the route for my shift. Got it. What's up here? What is that thing? Is there a... No, there's no other spot up here. Alright, let's... Might as well just head back down. Let's do it. We shall walk the route. That poor guy. Can you imagine being afraid of heights and having to do this? We'll skip down it. Whee! Heights don't bother me, but lightning does. Lightning and thunder. Oof. Not like a rolling thunder. It's like the sharp cracks of thunder that really bother me. Anyways, Rosaline. A shadowy fellow. Hmm, now that you mention it, I may have seen something. I dismissed it as a trick of the light before, but I thought I saw a shadow in the forest to the north. Still, I suspect it's nothing more than a Kirin thief on the run. If you must state your curiosity, by all means investigate. Should you actually find something of note, I would like very much to see it. Search signs for the shadowy figure. Hmm. Where is that? Ah, up ahead here. This direction? Yep, straight ahead. Let's see what we can find. We're hot on his trail. We can do it, we can do it. Oh, we gotta avoid these guys though. We'll just kind of... Oh, I think we're going to have to... So we got a, uh, a fire. And a warm leather bag. Alright. Let's bring this back. And not get caught on the way. Ah, bummer. Thought maybe we get away. more. There we go. This backs to us. We might get away. Yes. Rosalind, guess what? Found something. At least we could try dyeing it the same color. Ooh. This is definitely what they call an outfit. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm, have you found something? Yeah, hey, check this out. Remnants of a campfire and a forgotten bag. This could belong to any adventurer or traveler. And inside we have a chocobo grooming brush and rosling oil. But wait, why would a traveler make camp here when it would be far safer to beg the hospitality of Bent Branch Meadows? Bugger me, I think this belongs to that stranger said to be meddling with the chocobos. Thank you, adventurer. We have been lax in our duties, but no longer. I swear we, sh we will find this shadow. Cool. Get some boots. Yeah, we're getting some boots. You can now accept class quest rewards. There are some actions that can only be learned by completing certain class quests. For example, Range Lancer, okay. Sure. 
let's equip our new shoes. Well, at least we're kind of going in the right color direction. <laughs> this one heck of an outfit. Oh, Rosaline, what else you got? Let's, yeah, this will probably be our last quest for the evening. Rosaline would like to warn other sentries of strange activities. All right, let's do it. We cannot allow other sentries to dismiss sim similar sightings. They must know what we have learned. To that end, I've prepared this letter containing everything we know about our mysterious stranger. I need you to show it to my comrades throughout the shroud. Once each sentry has committed the details to memory, have them write their names at the bottom for confirmation. Start with Elmar at the Bannock, and then find Bernard at the eastern gates of Bent Branch Meadows. They ought to relay the information to the others. Finally, make sure Ilar sees the letter. He stands watch within the stables. So, if this stranger's aim is to harm the chocobos, Elgar might, may have to personally put an end to it. Alright, let's go find these people. Bent Branch. Anyone from over here? No. I think we gotta go that way. I think we're gonna go through this way to get there. Show Rosalind's message to Einar. To Elmar. Elmar. I guess we'll go this way. Hello. What are you doing here? Home. Home. Oh. oh. Ahem, if you don't mind, I'm trying to meditate. I love it. That is actually kind of funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dude, I would try meditating in these woods. They're pretty. Why not, right? Elmar. You don't look like you're here for training. Nope. There you go. A shadowy figure? Understood. I'll pass word to the recruits, as well as the sentries. Just let me make my mark. There, that should do. If you follow the road south, you'll find Bernard by the bridge to Bent, Brent, Bat, Brent Branch. Godspeed, adventurer. I'm telling you, we're never going to get it. So we want to go south. This way, I guess. <laughs> Bent Branch. I'm telling you. Let's see. This direction, perhaps? There he is. There's Bernard. Ooh. That was a sound. Hey, Bernard. You have business with me, adventurer? I do. Here. Rosalind is right to be cautious. For this stranger to venture so close, yet go to such great lengths to remain undetected, is highly suspicious. They clearly have designs on Bent Branch. <laughs> we appreciate the help. I should write my name here, yes? And here, take it. You'll find Elgar in the stables past the Aetherite. Sounds good. Thank you. Let's see the stables. Probably up there. There's Elgar. Mind the birds, adventurer. They get nervous around strangers. Oh, well, here. What's this? A shadowy stranger near the matron's lathe? Lathe? You've already shown this to Bernard and Elmar, I see. Good, good. Then all that's left is to form this staff here. 
Not everyone here is a wood whaler, true, but even our stale boys wouldn't hesitate to take up arms to defend these chocobos. Complete. Awesome. So, I think we'll do, we'll continue this mysterious quest here after, uh, yeah, I think on, uh, Saturday and during our next, uh, our next stream. So, let's see here. Grab this. With that, I would love to thank you guys for watching. I, I really, really appreciate it. And so, yeah, I will if... Um, you're catching this um, after the fact. I hope you have a really great rest of your day or rest of your evening, and I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content as it greatly helps out my channel. Hope to see you soon!